welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I have another WW Instant Pot series for you. I have two absolutely delicious comfort food. One is comfort food, one is Chinese food. They're both amazing recipes for you that are both WW friendly and easy to make in your Instant Pot for busy nights that you just don't have time to cook. It makes it super easy, it's a one pan cleanup so excited about these recipes. So if you wanna see what two Instant Pot recipes I have in store for you, just stay tuned. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, we are making mac and cheese with meatballs. And we're gonna pair this with a side of veggies. I cannot wait to make this. Mac and cheese is amazing in the Instant Pot. And we're just gonna add our protein right to it. I cannot wait. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need some pasta. I'm gonna be using my very favorite pasta in the entire world. This is the Fiber Gourmet Light elbows. I love this pasta. You can see that it's loaded with 19 grams of fiber, 8 grams of protein, only 23 net carbs, and it is non-GMO. It is so good. It tastes better than regular pasta. It holds its shape. It does. It holds its consistency. It really truly is amazing. And the best part about it, you can have an entire for only three smart points. Traditional pasta, you guys, two ounces, five to six smart points. So it is half the smart points, and I'm telling you, it is the best. I buy this off of Nutrition's website. I find it's the least expensive. They have hundreds of WW friendly products. Go over and check them out. There is a link down in my description box. Click the link and you can place your order directly from the link. If you need some suggestions on some things to add to your cart, feel free to leave that down in the comments below. But definitely, definitely get yourself the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. You're also going to need some chicken broth fat-free half and half, light butter, salt, onion, and garlic powder, Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna be doing a mix of fat-free cheddar cheese and the Trader Joe's light three cheese blend. My meatballs actually came from Trader Joe's. These are the turkey meatballs. They are fully cooked. Now, you can use any meatball that you would like. Just make sure you adjust your point. So these particular meatballs, you can have two of them for three smart points i believe uh let's look on the back here yes two meatballs is three smart points lastly we're just going to pair that with some california style veggies so let's get started on tonight's instant pot dinner so go ahead and grab out your instant pot hit your saute button that basically turns that on gets it into saute mode we are going to add four cups of our chicken broth or basically this entire box it says three to four cups i always err on the higher number just because i want to make sure everything gets cooked thoroughly through so i'm going to go ahead and add in the entire box i'm also going to add in my bag of trader joe's frozen turkey meatballs careful not to splash those all around and then to that we're going to add four tablespoons of i can't believe it's not butter light and I went ahead and just measured that out on my food scale. And then all of our seasonings. So first, onion powder. And you guys know I don't measure. I just kind of wing it. I tend to also over-season things just because I like my food with a lot of flavor. I did not show you thyme, but we also do want to add a little bit of thyme in as well. I don't know how I missed that on the ingredients list, so sorry about that. And then also some garlic powder, same thing. I'm just going to kind of wing it. And then last but certainly not least, we're just gonna add in a few shakes of our salt. And then we're gonna keep this on the saute function until our liquid has started to steam. And that means that it's gotten nice and hot, our butter will melt, our meatballs will start to get warm, and then we'll move on to adding in our pasta. You can see the steam rising off of that liquid. That is exactly what you want. Now we're ready to add in our bag of pasta. And we're just gonna kinda just give it a quick toss just to make sure the pasta gets submerged in the liquid. And then we're actually going to put on our lid. We're gonna cook this on high pressure for six minutes. And then we're gonna do a quick release. So I just hit the manual release here on my Instant Pot. We're gonna let all of the pressure get out, open up the lid, add in our cheeses, and our fat-free half and half. 
So I just removed the lid. This looks really good. Looks like the pasta is done. So now we're going to turn this back onto the saute mode for about five minutes and we're just going to let it saute, cook a little bit more, absorb a little bit more of the liquid and then we'll add in our cheese. So I have it on saute. I'm going to go ahead and add in my fat free half and half. I'm also going to add in one ounce of Parmesan cheese. I did just weigh these out on my food scale. And then I have 12 ounces of cheese total. Six ounces of the Trader Joe's light shredded and six ounces of the fat free cheese. And we're just going to mix this together. Again, keeping it on saute mode for about five minutes. That way the cheese gets mixed in with all of the liquid until we have mac and cheese. That cheese will melt and form a sauce. And then that's it, you guys. It is that simple. So I'll be back to show you our mac and cheese once we pull it off of the saute function. And there is our mac and cheese. It looks amazing. So we turned it off of saute so it is off completely. We are going to put our lid on kind of sideways and just let it sit for about five minutes and continue to thicken up. My veggies are in the microwave. I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. I have some of my California vegetables. I went ahead and just sprayed them with a little, I can't believe it's not butter spray, some salt and pepper for zero. And then I have one eighth of the mac and cheese and I paired that with two meatballs. So one eighth of the mac and cheese is five smart points. And then it is three smart points for my two meatballs. Now this is where your points could vary depending on the meatball that you use, but I'm counting mine as three for the meatballs, five for the mac and cheese so this entire dinner eight smart points for tonight's instant pot dinner i am making veggie fried rice and i'm going to pair that with some chicken cilantro wontons so first let me show you what is in our veggie fried rice you will need eggs an onion soy sauce or coconut aminos whatever you prefer any kind of rice i really like jasmine it's our favorite so we're going to be doing jasmine rice frozen peas. You can either do shredded carrots or whole carrots and just dice them up. I have these left over from another recipe, so I wanted to use them up. And that's everything in the fried rice. And then we're going to be pairing that with these Bibigo. These are from Costco. You could also use the Trader Joe's mini chicken cilantro wontons. They're the same. So we're going to be doing this. I'm just going to put these in the steamer basket. Or actually, you know what? No, I think I'm going to go ahead and pan fry these while the instant pot is cooking the rice so pan fried wontons and we're going to do veggie fried rice in the instant pot so the first thing we need to do is cook our rice unfortunately our rice has to be pre-cooked before it goes into the instant pot so i have one cup of uncooked rice with about one and three quarters cup of water we're going to let this start cooking through and in the meantime let's get started on our wontons so the rice is just about done and we have our wontons going over here in a pan. So let's start together, putting together the part of our dinner that's in the Instant Pot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn my Instant Pot onto saute mode. I'm gonna take some nonstick cooking spray and just spray pretty intensely the bottom and sides of my Instant Pot. Let this warm up for just a couple of minutes and we'll add in both our carrots and our onions. Once your Instant Pot is warmed up, we're going to go ahead and add some carrots. The recipe wants about half of a cup of carrot, or half of a carrot. So I'm just going to kind of add just a little bit of the shredded carrots to the bottom of my Instant Pot. And then we are also going to add in our diced up onion. And we're just going to start sauteing this down until the onion becomes a little translucent and the carrots start to soften a little bit. Once everything gets softened, you're going to go ahead and push it all off to the side of your Instant Pot. And then we're going to add a little bit more nonstick cooking spray on that one side and add our two eggs that we've kind of pre-beaten up with our fork to the side. And we want to just scramble those together. It'll take just a couple of minutes, about three or so, for the eggs to scramble. And then we'll start mixing in the onions and the carrots with the egg and add in the rest of our ingredients. 
Once your eggs are scrambled, we're going to go ahead and pour in one cup of frozen peas and go ahead and give that a stir. Make sure you get that egg kind of mixed in, get it off the bottom of your instant pot. And then we're also going to add in all of our cooked rice. So there is our cooked rice. We're going to go ahead and add that in. And then again, we're just going to give this a big stir. So here is our veggie fried rice when we have that soy sauce stirred in. Again, it smells so good. And then I've crisped up our wontons quite a bit, just in a non stick pan with a little bit of cooking spray and they got nice and crispy. So let me get this plated up and I'll be back to give you the smart points. So here is my completed dinner. So I have one fourth of the veggie fried rice. So it is quite a lot and it is only three smart points. And then I decided to have 10 of the mini chicken cilantro wontons and 10 of those is also three smart points. So this entire dinner, six smart points. Thank you for joining me on another WW Instant Pot series. I hope you enjoyed seeing the two recipes that I shared with you. They were both delicious. My husband ate all of the leftovers within a couple of days. We loved the mac and cheese with the meatballs. That was super easy. Definitely head over to Nutrition. There's a link down in the description box to order the fiber gourmet pasta. It's a lifesaver on WW. And the fried rice was perfect with those mini cilantro wontons and so easy and filling. So definitely check out the recipes down in the description box. Also in the box are all of my discount codes and links to my favorite things on WW. So check those out as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'd love it if you'd give this one a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, comment down below and let me know what you thought of these two Instant Pot recipes. Which one of the two is a must make for you? And it's okay if it's both of them. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!